Are you ready to transform your small kitchen into a clutter-free oasis? In this video, I am sharing five game-changing tips that are gonna revolutionize the way that you organize your small kitchen, making cooking and meal prep a breeze. Let's get started. I love small homes. They have such a special place in my heart. When we first bought our acreage, we lived in an 800 square foot garage house until we had our third child. And last year we renovated a 467 square foot tiny cottage on a lake that we're now renting out for the summer and enjoying ourselves. Living in tiny houses or just in small homes is such a great way to save money on bills, lower the time spent on cleaning, which is my favorite part, and keep shopping in check. They do come with their downsides though, and one of them is lack of storage space. The small kitchen in our tiny lake house is only about 63 square feet in size, so I had to be creative with the storage solutions in this space. So I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the features we've added in the kitchen to make it ultra functional in a really stylish and cute way. One of the best ways to maximize storage in a tiny kitchen is to take advantage of that vertical space. This is something that I always recommend thinking about for really any small room. Consider installing open shelving in your kitchen and run them from about 12 inches from the countertop as high as you can all the way to the ceiling if you can. And here you can store kitchen essentials you might use every day like drinking glasses, coffee mugs, wine glasses, and mixing bowls. And this is gonna free up valuable counter and cabinet space while keeping your kitchen essentials within easy reach. Vertical storage is king when trying to work within the confines of a tiny kitchen. I often get asked about dusting that would be required when storing drinkware and servingware on open shelves. My solution, simply ensuring that the items that you store on those open shelves are ones that you use every day or almost every day. That way they don't even have a chance to collect dust. Magnetic storage is one of my favorite ways to keep a tiny kitchen clutter free. Movable magnetic shelves, hooks, and strips are the perfect addition to small spaces. I love these magnetic spice rack shelves. I found them on Amazon. I will link them down in the description box below as well as everything that I'm featuring in today's video. These are perfect for a wall or in this case for the side of the fridge. This one from Amazon fits my spice jars perfectly. I'm also putting my salt and pepper up here. They're really strong, you'll probably be surprised. I like to install them by kind of tipping them from the top to the bottom because once you have them in place, they're really hard to move. There's also hooks that come with this little shelf and I'm putting them on the side of the shelf here on the bottom and hanging in some kitchen utensils here so that I'm able to free up some space in drawers and on the countertops. Another idea is to hang adhesive hooks on the walls or the sides of cupboards. You can put dish towels on here. You can put trivets like I'm doing here, oven mitts, kitchen utensils, etc. Don't forget to look to wall space or the side of the cabinet space for valuable storage opportunities. Another adhesive storage idea are these little adhesive clips that are kind of a rubber material. You can just peel off the backing and stick them on your small appliances. These are fantastic because you can wrap the cords of your appliances around them and then the end of the cord just kind of tucks into this center part here. I love this because it gets those cords up and out of the way. It also makes your appliances look so much better on the counter and not quite as messy. As far as magnetic solutions go, you can choose gadgets like this magnetic kitchen timer. There's no timer on the stove I have in this cabin, so I wanted to grab one. This one's perfect, has the magnetic backing, and I can put it on the range hood so it's up and out of the way. Another great tip is to optimize your sink area in your small kitchen. You can use an over-the-sink cutting board to create additional counter space. You can buy a drying rack that can fit in your sink and then you can just roll it up to free up some counter space. You can buy these separately or a workstation sink like the one that I have here in our tiny lake house has built-in storage. It has these little grooves in the side, comes with a cutting board strainer and a draining rack that all fit nicely into the grooves in the side of the sink. I love something like this as kind of an all-in-one solution for the sink area in a smaller kitchen. Another tip is to get creative with that cabinet and drawer organization. You can really maximize your cabinet and drawer storage with some easy ideas. I love these adjustable dividers for drawers. 
found this on Amazon as well. They kind of have this spring loaded system that can fit multiple sizes of drawers. When you put these in a drawer, you can create custom storage compartments for all of your essentials in the kitchen. So in this drawer here, I have all of our washcloths, towels, oven mitts, and then I also have some placemats, some cling wrap, and some tin foil. I really like using pull-out storage in kitchens, especially small kitchens. IKEA kitchen cabinets have built-in pull-outs. One example is the garbage and recycling space under the sink here. I added a garbage bin and recycling bin to this pull-out cabinet under the sink. And IKEA's kitchen cabinets do have this option and I love how it functions. Really easy to access and truly makes the most of the space under the sink. For pots and pans, I prefer storing them in a drawer if possible. I love drawers in a kitchen, especially in a tiny kitchen. If you can design your kitchen with drawers, that's definitely going to be the easiest to use. Sometimes I have a pot lid organizer in my drawers. In this case, I just use one of those drawer compartment dividers, and then I have the pot lids on this left-hand side. Another tip to make the most of your small kitchen storage is to streamline cooking with space-saving appliances. So really go for those compact, multifunctional appliances that save space and truly simplify your cooking. I love these small scale appliances that I found for our tiny lake house kitchen. The stove is only 24 inches wide and so is the fridge. They're from Unique Appliances and they're actually quite a bit more budget friendly than the other big brand, the vintage big brand that you might know. I'll leave a link to these down in the description box below. Love the retro style and they're such a great size for a small kitchen. You can also find really compact dishwashers. This one here is only 18 inches wide and it functions perfectly. We love it so far. We love how it washes and sanitizes all our dishes in this space, which is something we really needed for this rental. Also consider going tiny with your smaller appliances, so your waffle makers, blenders, etc. I love this Dash mini waffle maker because it doesn't require tons of storage and it can fit pretty much anywhere. And look at how cute it looks with our mint green appliances. I love how it matches. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which of these ideas was your favorite, which one do you find the most helpful, and if you have more small kitchen organization ideas, I would love to hear those down in the comments below. If you like this video, you might love this video that I'm gonna put right up here. I'm sharing some of my favorite dollar store kitchen organization products that are budget friendly, but that are gonna make your space so much more organized as well.